I have more CC to show you. And I think you're gonna like this one. So for some context, there are these two creators, Hey Harry and Felix Andre, that make really, really amazing build CC in The Sims. I've made videos on like every single one of their CC releases because they make the coolest stuff. You might recognize this art style. Well, this stuff pack logo is The Sims art style, but you might recognize these people. They made like the kitchen stuff pack. They have a bathroom one, a kids room one, even like a patio garden one. They have a million different CC packs. They're all amazing. Honestly, some of my absolute most favorite things. I just, I think they are so talented. And this one is special because a few weeks ago, I got a DM from Harry and she was like, hey Kayla, we're working on this new stuff pack. We're trying to add some clutter items to it. What kind of clutter do you want to see in the game? And of course this message terrified me because I was like, this is too much pressure. What if I say the wrong answer? Oh my God. And so I was thinking, and I mentioned that I really like those new like coffee table trays they added in both Tiny Living and in the Paranormal Stuff Pack because they have like a little tray and there's like a candle and a plant and a book and it's just a nice item to like stick on a coffee table. And I was kind of like, you know what? I wish we had some more coffee table clutter. And she responded and she was like, yes, you're right. And so I think they added some of that stuff into the game. And she told me that she would like to see my reaction when I like saw it. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna download the pack. We're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at all their cool stuff because obviously it's gonna be good no matter what. I mean, just look at the, oh, the pictures. They always make the coolest art for these. Like the, the screenshot is so good. They have 10 seating options, a Samsung frame TV. In case you didn't know what that was, Samsung has this frame TV that looks like a picture frame and is actually a TV. And when it's off, it displays art still. It's also like really thin and flat against your wall. So it doesn't look like a big ugly TV on your wall. They're also kind of expensive in real life, but they look really cool. Like so many fancy houses have these. I mean, look, the 43 inch one is a thousand dollars, but they're nice looking. I mean, look, that's a TV and it turns on, it works like a TV. Anyway, they made one of these for the Sims, which I am really, really excited about. And they've got like clutter and artwork and rocking chairs and all kinds of other things in the pack. I haven't seen most of it yet. I saw a couple pictures on Twitter, but I haven't like seen the whole CC pack yet. This also comes out in like a couple weeks publicly, but it's available early access right now to patrons and I am one of those patrons. <laughs> so I will link all of their tumblers, Patreons, Twitter, everything is all linked down below. Please go follow them, download their stuff. It's so good. It's so good. And I'm going to open my game. I know you know this, but I always get so excited when I get to look at new build CC. It like fully makes my day. It's just so much fun. Oh. <laughs> I <laughs> I forgot I killed Eliza Pancakes in this state. Okay, well there was there's been a bit of an incident recently. Please disregard that. Um, we are here to look at custom content. This is a big moment. Okay, we have a lot to cover. Wait, is that a rocking chair? <gasps> oh, that's really pretty. That looks really nice. Also, they have kind of like a color palette they use for all of their items. So like all of these things match all of their other packs really well. Like these shades and these swatches are on all their other things too, which is so nice because then you can just mix and match so easily. And like the wood swatches are so good. I love this rocking chair. And I believe they said this pack is base game only. So you don't need to like have tiny living for this to work, which is very useful. Marble accent chair. No way. That's a cool idea. That would be so cold to sit on. You can just tell. You, you just know. That's okay though. It's not my problem. That's my Sims problem. I like this thing. That's a really fun idea. We have this Bellini chair and three seater and love seat. These are kind of fun. I like this. Oh, look at that purple swatch. Oh, I love looking at CC swatches. I just, I always get so excited to see like what colors they picked. This is a good selection of like neutrals, but also some fun colors that aren't like that bright. This, this could kind of still be neutral. I know it's bright pink, but you know what I mean? <laughs> it kind of works. It could still be neutral if you wanted it to. Armchair. Oh, this is a nice chair. Wait, that yellow and white is so cool. I love this game. I love, I love this game and I love CC. That looks so nice. How do they come up with this? Genuinely, how do modders do this? How do you, how are you this creative? We've got a couple desk chairs, it looks like. We have a desk chair and a wooden chair. These are nice. And there's so many swatches. You can just, it, it's so much better. And the wood tones actually look nice. There's no like weird out of the blue green ones. If the Sims made this chair, you just know there'd be like a hot pink version and it's like wooden still. I don't, no offense, but you know, you know it's true. Or there'll be like a patterned one <laughs> or something. Okay, we have a love seat that matches the chair. Oh, I miss this ottoman too. They, see, that's the thing also. With CC, they're not like limited in any way. Obviously they can just do whatever they want. And so they'll make like every variant. You have like the three seater, the love seat, you have the regular chair, you have the ottoman. Like they'll just make every single version of everything they make.
like with every swatch. A lot of times with kitchen counters, they'll do like a set of counter colors and a set of cabinet colors. And then they'll give you like, I don't know, white, green, gray, and yellow cabinets and like white and black countertops. And you get like eat everything with each. They just cover all the bases. <laughs> I love this so much. I like this swatch. I think that's really pretty. Two tile desk, three tile desk. Do you see what I mean? Oh, that looks so good. The textures are so nice. I'm so excited. Okay. Oh, this has got to be like one of my favorite items I've ever seen in The Sims 4. Do you know what? I'm in the market for a new console table. <laughs> <laughs> I could use a new one for my living room. This is my inspo pick. I want something like this and I want to decorate it like this. All right, I'm taking notes. I love this thing. And they have like a matching bookshelf and also some matching cabinets. Oh, wow. Look at that in like three different variants. That's so cool. It's so nice to mix and match like that too. Whoa, look at that fancy end table. I love the wood textures they use. We have a marble block end table too. Oh, and this coffee table is so nice. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> And obviously they added like a million clutter items. I seem to be out of money. Okay, <laughs> try again. We have this plant. Oh, that's so nice. What are the swatches like? Oh, that's pretty. We have this plant. Oh my God. <laughs> This is using some of the stuff from the new paranormal pack. I love that glass vase. That looks so good. An ivy sculpture. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. That's so fun. And obviously it fits like perfectly in the shelves too. Big palm plant. That looks really nice. What are the vase swatches like? Just nice neutrals. I swear, the fact that I get so excited about nice, just neutrals in The Sims, when CC just has like some nice and neutral swatches, I'm like, wow, this is the best day ever. <laughs> Standards are really low. I'm just so used to like all of EA's plants. I mean, obviously fun colors are fun sometimes, but this this vase would have like wacky patterns on it. You know exactly what I am talking about. <laughs> this vase would have wacky patterns on it. They have a couple neutral swatches, but it's just like white red and blue. There isn't even like a plain black swatch. Same vibe. I'm just saying patterns fun sometimes, but I also like just the neutrals. <laughs> sometimes neutrals are a good thing. Oh, that's really nice. I like the big mat on the frame too. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, the painting like extending onto the mat. That looks so good. Oh, there are so many good swatches on this. I like this one a lot too. Even just like the plain ones that are just like big splotches of paint. That's so useful for decorating. Oh, this is the best day. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I like like this. This is so good for making like custom gallery walls. These like little paintings. Leaning frame artwork. That's massive. That's so good. I love these so much. I think I like that one best. How does it size down? Oh yeah, that's nice. Very good size options. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Dipped frame. Oh, cool. Wait, that's kind of trendy. I like it. They've got a couple of like the existing in-game paintings, you know? I always joke that this painting looks like me. <laughs> this is one of the ones your Sims will paint, but she's got short brown hair. I'm, I'm just saying. I like the dipped painting. That's a really cool idea. And there's just some fun other swatches too. I like this. Oh, look at that artwork. More leaning artwork. I like the leaning stuff. It's fun to put that like on tables and things. All the wood swatches. Oh, this is really cool. I think it's so interesting to see like, oh wait, the mixed color ones are awesome. What I was gonna say, it's so interesting to see like what other people come up with when they're like, I mean, cause they're making artwork, right? <laughs> like the, the CC itself is artwork, but also it's literally art. Like they had to, to make art in order to put it in the game. It's just so interesting. And it's always so good. 3D wall art. I'm running out of space. I shouldn't have done this in the pancakes house. I don't know why I picked this house. This is so good. I like that yellow one a lot. That's a nice color. It's fun because it's still bright, but it's not like too much. And because it's just the one color too, it's really easy to put this as like a really fun accent piece, but not have it be like too busy. This is good. This is very good. A mirror? Wait, no way. Oh, that's cool. The like texture on the mirror. And they've got a couple different swatches. They also have a plain one. <laughs> See, that's the thing. They cover all the bases. I love this. And with CC mirrors, you can move them around. You know how EA's mirrors, you're stuck at like one height and then you can go up, but you can't go down. CC ones, you can put anywhere. I'm just saying. Tiny objects trays. Look, there's little keys. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Okay, decorative bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Origami crane. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, obviously they are trying to make clutter so that you'd have a ton of options to stick in these shelves, but it's just such useful clutter. That's so normal. Like a tray with keys, a TV remote. That's one of the things she mentioned to me was like a TV remote for the coffee table. The 
love pancakes. Okay, see, it, it's a good thing I came here. It's a good thing I was using this house. I wonder what other swatches they put. I love that. Nice, nice. Bella Goth made it too. Oh, and look at that. The TV remote stacks on top of it. I assume the magazine, yeah, the magazine stack too. So you can make a whole stack of magazines and you can slot the remote on top of it. That's so normal. <laughs> Like, this makes so much sense. Stacking box? Oh yeah, that's really nice too. Again, just so normal. <laughs> box files. I like how it slots to the side. That's kind of nice. More books. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then I assume that one will stack too. That's one of the best parts about CC is that the things stack. That's so useful. You can make a whole custom bookcase. I'm not sure. I don't think they function like books. I assume it's just decorative. When you're trying to fill up the shelf, you can literally just make an entirely custom bookcase. <laughs> oh, the tiny tray empty as well. So you can stick the remote in it. Oh, it's like perfect size for the remote. And a bigger coffee table tray. Oh, this is my dream come true. My actual dream come true. Look, you can slot all the things you want together in it yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, cool. A book stand, like with an open one. I wonder what all the pages look like. Oh, look, this is like photos of their other CC. You got their kitchen pack, the bathroom pack, the like kids room stuff, some of their outdoor stuff. That's such a cool idea. And they've got like some photos of some of the travel places like in the other packs. Oh no, I love that. That's really awesome. More books, more coffee table books. Tom Ford. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I this is so cute. This one has an end to it like a book end. Oh, I think this one is beautiful Drinks tray too. Look how nice that is. That's so pretty. <laughs> I love how the glass looks and of course they have like the phone and keys <gasps> <laughs> It's a coffee table tray and it comes with a cow plant on it. Oh no look at the swatches Oh the different swatches have different things on it. Oh wow. That's cool. This is the best day of my life No, I'm not kidding. This is like the actual best day of my life how clever to have the different swatches have different things. And then obviously you could you could always add extra if you wanted to because you could slot more onto it. But it like by default comes full or empty. They, they cover all the bases. Every single base covered. They literally think of everything. <laughs> oh, they have this painting that goes against the wall too. Same one, but leaning. Oh, and this one standing up so you can stick it in the shelves. Oh, nice. More books. I think these are so pretty. I like the floral book. What a clever idea. Ooh, look at that vase. Yeah, this is just nice, like simple decorative stuff stuff, you know? Such a realistic thing to put on your shelves. Also the candles, of course, for the trays. This is my dream. My actual dream, I'm not kidding. I love- they're like house-shaped. That's so cool. Yeah, those are pretty. Oh, I missed the rug. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a, a woolen rug. Nice. <gasps> oh, the patterns. These are good swatches. I like this color. Okay. Now I think the most exciting part, and I've completely like left it till the very last item, is the TV, the frame TVs. They've got a couple different variants. One that's like a little bit fancier and one that's like plain, more simple, modern, clean lines and stuff. And now all of the different things, there's like fake artwork. Look, you can get like real paintings on it. <laughs> Yeah, this is so cool. And then look, before Bob Pancakes dies, <laughs> this functions like a regular TV. Here, come here, Bob. Sorry, buddy, you're having a very rough day. Your wife's dead. But you made it onto a magazine. I don't know if you saw it, Bob, but you're on the cover. <laughs> what happens when I turn it on? See, it's, it, it's just, it functions like a TV, but it doesn't look ugly. This is such a clever idea. This is the best part of the pack. I mean, the, the coffee table things are nice. <laughs> Obviously. I'm a little bit biased, but they're very nice. No, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding though. The phone and keys thing, that's so clever. That's just so useful. Anyway, but these, these frame TVs are genius. The TVs in The Sims aren't even like ugly. It's just one of those things where sometimes it's kind of hard to design around a TV. I and mean, that goes for real life too. It's why these things exist. But it's so much nicer to have this like beautiful painting on your wall and then it functions like a TV. Someday I'll buy one of these in real life. It's just not, it's not a worthy investment right now. <laughs> I'm not, I don't care enough to pay for it right now, but you know, that's like a dream house kind of thing. I think they go on sale. I'm pretty sure you can get them for not that expensive. But when I think about spending a thousand dollars on a TV, um, my heart kind of sinks. They cost about $10,000 in The Sims, which makes a lot of sense. The Simsung Classic Frame TV. I'm so excited. They, they always just knock it out of the park. I will, of course, link these things down below. Please, please, please go follow both of these creators. Hey, Harry and Felix Andre. They are so good at this. They are so good at this. Oh, it just makes my day every time. I am so glad they added so much clutter. It like fills such a void, you know? And it's all so beautiful. I love the idea of the coffee table tray. 
mean, I just, I think this is so pretty. Ah, sorry, I was trying to delete the items. <laughs> Deleted the whole room. Oh, I missed the fireplace. <laughs> How did I manage that? There's a whole fireplace. Oh, it's marble. That's so pretty. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting distracted. I'm trying to make a living room. Okay, well, I started decorating a room, but it appears that the room that I want to decorate is a lot smaller than this one. <laughs> I just... I'm just gonna shrink Bob Pancakes' room. Is that cool with you guys? This is so beautiful. I'm so excited. I feel like in real life, there would be, I don't know, some doors over here or something. <laughs> I am simply pretending this room is a lot smaller than it actually is. Yeah, that's what I want. That looks good. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> It just, it all works together so well. I'm so excited about this. Let me know in the comments what your favorite item in this stuff pack is. I can't lie, I think the frame TV is just so good. It's so good. But like I said, let me know what you think. Please, please, please go follow these creators on all of their social media platforms. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. By the way, both of these videos that it's showing you right now are like other ones that I've made on their CC packs. So if you wanna see more of their stuff that's like already out and has been out for months, click here.